Okay, so we are back again here on this LVP job again, and um, I got some new shoes in the mail today. I had a uh, friend from California, Nick from Goku's Flooring, recommended them, and um, I like them because they have no shoelaces, and if you're an installer, you notice that a lot of times your shoestrings will come untied and you have to retie them. This may be a silly video, but I'm real pleased with these, so I wanted to show them. Anyway, um, they came in the mail this morning. I have a P.O. box, so um, my wife went to pick them up this morning and brought them to the job site with me. Well, these are the shoes that I have previously been wearing. I'm going to turn, them around, turn the camera around so you can see them. So if you'll look right here, these are the shoes that I was wearing yesterday and so on. And you can see the shoestrings here. That's the problem with the shoes and you're an installer. The shoestrings just wear out like crazy. Look here. This is this is all wore out. All the shoestrings are wore out. And plus, whenever you're on the floor on a solid surface and your foot's upside down like that, you roll over that knot right there and that hurts. It does not feel good whatsoever. So um uh like i said a friend of mine recommended these to me and i just want to show you the difference of these these are made out of the same material as nikes right there and they have absolutely no laces they don't have any seams anywhere around the toes i always make sure even on these that i don't have any seams on the toes because that's what wears out first and there's no laces so whenever i am installing and i'm rocking back and forth to reach and grab so i don't have that knot right here on the top of my foot digging in and hurting all the time so um i actually ordered these off of amazon and as you know they are uh shoes last really short um period of time with floor covering so um hey government i forgot the name of them Quan uh i think they're quantities they are quantities i got them from amazon they're about 31.99 is what i paid for them and my old nikes i've been wearing these forever and um <laughs> crazy my wife whoop whoop anyway these shoes are here I've been wearing. I always get this same exact style of shoe because I have a wide foot. And uh dang I missed that comment there. She knows a week. I didn't I don't know what you're talking about there. Anyway, I have a wide foot, so um I always have to get I'm real particular about what shoes I can get because if I get just a regular size shoe, they don't work so hot with my feet. I need something wide. And um, these, they don't say wide, but they actually feel good. They, I tried them on, I actually went over to California and visited him, and I tried his on when I was over, and I was like, boy, that feels good. And I, it was time to order some more shoes, so I was like, I'm going to give them a try, ask him to send me a link, and then I ordered them. It, took, it only took about three days to get them. So, anyway, uh, Quanzies. Let me show you that again right there. Uh, no laces, no seams on the toes. They're going to last a long time. Even if they just last as long as my other shoes, I usually get a month and a half, maybe two months out of a pair of shoes of Nike's those same ones that I just showed you and they last about uh, or they cost about 54 to 60 dollars depending on where I get them at these also have the non-slip grip on the bottom and um, they, they're not the best looking shoe but I don't really care I'm not about looks I don't, I'm not a materialistic type of person I'm all about comfort so um, if they don't have that big knot hanging over the edge of that uh, hanging over the edge that 
shoe there whenever I'm rocking back and forth, I'm down with it. And if I can get the same amount of time as I was getting out of my Nikes, then I'm cool with it. Um, they got this room all set up again, and here it is with everything in it. And I think the carpet guy commented up when I was talking about the uh, patterns, how many, how few uh, boards there were different. He's like, yeah, well, you're looking at an empty room. They're going to have it all full. And you're exactly right, Carpet Guy 1970. This, you can't really hardly tell nothing. I think it looks great with all the chairs and stuff in here. Um, I'm getting a little burnout from being here. So I ain't hardly got much done today. I slept to about 10 o'clock, which we've been getting here. Uh, we've been leaving uh, after one in the morning about every single night since we've been working over here. So it's just wearing on me. I'm finally breaking down and getting tired. Uh, we are now working right here in the entryway. Um, I'm going to finish this and then that section down there has glue on it and then I'm going to call it a night but outside of that we're only going to have uh, one more landing we're going to have one more of these upstairs the elevator and then that's all I'm going to get done so tomorrow will be a light day I'll just get those two little sections done and tomorrow will be a light day I'm not going to attempt to get on that other big hallway because uh, it's just too much. I won't ever get it done. Uh, what is today? Thursday? Yeah, so there's no way I can get that done tomorrow. So I'm just going to hold off on that part until we come back at probably in, it's probably going to be in December to be honest with you, maybe even after Christmas because they said at the end of November, but as I said last night, we're going to Tennessee at the end of November. And then I've already got a big job scheduled um, up into December. I'm doing some uh, rubber treads and stair lessons at the Varsity Club of America here in Tucson. So um, I was actually supposed to do them here a couple of weeks ago. Uh, maybe even longer than that. And, um, and there was defective so I want to get paid for what I told what I put down already and they send them back and they're going to send new ones in which usually they'll probably be in about mid December or mid I mean mid November or something like that been there and done that VCT and hospitals emergency rooms hallways all nighter yeah well it's wearing on me this is Four, four days in a row we've been here like really late. Anyway, uh, the Quanzies shoe, that's what I was wanting to show you guys. Let me do it one more time there, let you guys take a look at it one more time. Um, by the way, if you wear, I wear a size 10 and a half wide, and these are a size 10, just so you know, and they fit me just fine, the width and the length. I don't know if you can see on that. Yeah, it don't, it don't say. Anyway, I think it's Q-U-A-N-Z-I. I think. I might be wrong. But anyway, they're on Amazon for $31. And I think they're going to be some great shoes. To, I just got them today. But anyway, it's already feeling better because I'm not rocking back and forth over that knot. Like on a... On a... Uh, on a uh, <laughs> So a big shout out to Nick. On a, yeah, I'm not rocking back and forth over a knot on my foot, which hurts, especially being on solid surface. So I just wanted to point that out anyway. And um, that's it. I'm gonna call it and get this done and call it a night. So thank you guys again for tuning in. I'm sorry, this is probably kind of a boring video, but again, when. I, Again, whenever I find something out new or figure something else out. Uh, I got a planter fantastic recently from a Reno. It's no joke. I don't know. Planter, that's a, I think that's a spot on your foot. Oh, yeah. Oh, a planter's wart. 
Yes, I hear you. I've had one. I, I don't know what it is, but arched in your foot. Okay. Yeah, I knew it was something. Gotcha. Different. Okay. Yeah, that sucks. The top of my feet. Dang. No, it's a tendon issue. Oh, I hear you. Okay. Um, well, the tops of my feet look horrible from rocking back and forth over that. Um, as a matter of fact, I'll show you guys the top of my feet real quick. <laughs> Mm. Well, I'm on my, you know how it is as a floor guy, you're on top of your feet all the time. Well, look at that callus and the bruise. It stays like that. It stays like that all the time. So, to get rid of the shoestring, look at that. It's like a, it's like thicker skin than on the bottom of my foot. So, to get rid of, that was probably kind of rough, but anyway. Maybe someone could shoot it now. To get rid of the shoestring and make it a little bit easier on the tops of my feet, uh, I'm all down for buying something like that. I usually don't like to buy shoes or clothes or anything offline because I always try my stuff on, but I, I was able to try these on when I was over, over there in California visiting him, so it was... I was cool with it when I slipped my foot in. I was like, dang, that feels good. It already felt broken. They're super light shoes. The bottom of them are like really soft and spongy. The bottom of them actually feels like a croc. It's that kind of material. If you've ever wore crocs, which probably everybody has wore crocs sometime in their life, but the bottom of them feel like that kind of material and they're just super light and super flexible because it's all fabric. And I just noticed something a while ago. Let me turn this back around and show you one more thing. Um, right here, um, I didn't notice that this is not even attached. So if it don't, I mean, if it, if it, I, what I'm probably going to do, um, if I'm down like I am right now on a solid surface for a while, I might even try to take me a little piece of pad and just put underneath put underneath of that right there and that might help out because the tops the tops of my feet is what takes a beating whenever I'm on solid surface so anyway I just wanted to point that out like I said anything I find out or anything I learn I always want to share with you guys because that's what this channel is about is about learning and making your job easier and making your job better so again thank you from FBSB and and again, I got my wife here with me, like most of the time, because she's awesome. Teamwork makes, makes the, the dream, dream work. work. FBSB <laughs> for life. Yeah, FBSB for life. All right. Thank you guys for tuning in. I appreciate it, okay? Bye. And um, maybe you would try out these shoes or something in the future whenever yours wear out so rapidly because you're carpet guys. Anyway, thank you again for tuning in. FBSB is out.